Hey guys, this is Tyreek Jackson. You can follow me on Instagram at I am Tyreek Jackson. I am the 2006 $25,000 Barber Battle winner. Congratulations to Bronner Brothers. It's one thing to start a thing, but it's another thing to maintain and you guys have done so successfully. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions about how did this all start for me? How did you do this? It didn't happen overnight. But in this video, you're going to see how. There was a guy out of Delaware, his name was Deshaun, and he was working at another barbershop at the time. He said, yo, you need to be in the car. People need to see what you're doing. You know, like, like what you do is amazing. I then submitted those photos to Glenn Jackson's event. I ended up winning three categories, and he submitted my photos. I don't know how that conversation happened between Bronner Brothers and him. So then the next thing was, I get a phone call. So hello, my name is Erica Washington, and you know I'm from Bronner Brothers International. Your name came across my desk, and I would love for you to compete. I was actually sitting on the couch with my wife, and I, I turned over and I looked at her and I said, you think we can do this? I should say, you can do this. And I said, all right, we're gonna do this. And so I called Erica, and she said, I've been waiting on you, and I got all kinds of people that wanna do this. This is an honor to do this. And you know, if you know Erica Washington, she's really for you. You know, but at the same time, she is definitely somebody that gets what she wants. And if you're not it, she's gonna find somebody who's willing to do it. I let her know that I would do it just for the sheer fun of it, to build a relationship. More importantly, I wanted to be an educator. That was why I committed to it, because I, I knew that if I built a relationship through Bronner Brothers and Erica Washington, that there would be other opportunities down the road for education. When, when you talk about doing a Bronner Brothers event, and how taxing it be. I had to rent the gymnasium. We rented the Boys and Girls Club gymnasium. Every single day that we rehearsed, I taped out the entire CAD of the runway and the stage in the gymnasium. I wanted to make it unique so it had a different flavor for every single routine. We did a model call. Some people said they, they, they were gonna come and they didn't. I hired Tim Johnson. He always raves about my mom's oatmeal. You know, I can't wait to see Iris again so I can get some of that oatmeal. We arrive in Atlanta, and when we arrive, we get to the hotel, everything was paid for. They asked me for my ID, and I just lost my wallet, and I didn't know it. All my money was on my cards, and my white pants that I was getting ready to wear on stage in the next 15 minutes yeah. fell in the fruit punch. My show coordinator, Elio De Jesus. He came in, he said, look man, don't worry about it, we're gonna get this right. And he said, your mom's taking care of it right now. And there's just something about moms that they always have the, the answer. They always have the secret remedy. And I looked at him, I was like, I got white pants and red fruit punch. You can't fix that. You can't fix that. You know, and I'm, I'm flipping out, I'm upset. And he's like, yo, we got this. We got this. I apologized to them and I said, let's do what we came to do. And I'm telling you, the moment I said that, my mom comes into the booth with my white pants and no fruit punch. They were wet, okay? They were soaking wet, but they didn't have any red fruit punch on them. So I put them on, stuck to my leg, but I didn't let it change the moment. I stayed committed. I didn't want to let all those 66 people who committed to this event down. I'm BB. I'm Barbara Battle. I'm 2006. I didn't want to let uh, my nine year old daughter, who was watching at the time, I didn't want to let her down because she remembers all the hard work. The most gratifying thing was when we were done and they announced that I was the winner. She said she put a chair up and she waited until they called my name. And she jumped on stage. She ran, she ran to me and I grabbed her. And that was, that was the most gratifying thing in that moment. It meant so much to me that I forgot to turn and thank Mr. Bernard Bronner himself, 
who was presenting me with a $25,000 check. You know, that my daughter got to experience a moment that hard work pays off. And when you commit to something and you believe in something and you do it with all the different struggles that happen, that's what, that's, that it was worth it, that moment. And that moment alone, you know, after that, you know, we celebrated, but I thank God for the opportunity.